Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to join me in today's video. It is going to be a video on the products that I consistently keep, but I don't use. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I find myself doing this quite often where I'll go through my collection and even doing like my declutters. If you guys haven't checked out my declutters, I'll link the playlist down below. But I will go through and I will keep items that I know I don't use in the hopes that I will use it. It's a mindset that I don't know why I have, but I constantly keep so many different products that I never reach for. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing those products with you and throwing them out. Finally, getting rid of them, tossing them, decluttering them, selling them, whatever I'm going to do with them, getting rid of them out of my collection because Lord knows I'm never going to use them. So if you guys are ready to get started with this video, let's go ahead and get into it. about is the item that kind of inspired this video and this video idea. So this is one of the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows in Freedom. I wanted this eyeshadow so bad. I remember I went on the hunt for it. I went to Ulta for it. They didn't have it in stock. I ordered it online. I wanted it so bad. So basically it is just a liquid eyeshadow, one of like their liquid and glows. You guys know what those are, just like a shimmery liquid eyeshadow. I wanted this guy so bad. I've used it one time since I bought it. And I remember like I wanted it so, so bad and once I had it, I never use it. And I think about it all the time, but I still don't use it. So I think it is time to go ahead and get rid of this guy out of my collection. Clearly it's just one of those items that I thought was really pretty and that I wanted, but isn't something that's super wearable in my everyday life. I don't necessarily reach for this sort of, like this sort of product in a daily routine. So I need to go ahead and say goodbye to this guy. The next item that I have that I want to talk about is from Mario Badescu and this is the facial spray and this is in the rose scent. So I use this once upon a time, but as my collection has grown, I've gotten a lot more sprays that I do enjoy a lot more than this one. This one you can use as like a refresher. You can use it to kind of set your makeup. Um, I don't think it's really meant to be a makeup setter, but it kind of just works as like something you can do throughout the day, just give you a spritz, or if you're wanting to put it on before you apply your makeup, kind of like a prepping spray. I have so many sprays in my collection though, and this has made it through so many times where I go through them and I keep it and I'm like, well, I'm gonna use that sometime, but I never use it. So it's time part ways with this one. I have so many other sprays that I enjoy so much more than this one. There is no reason to keep it in my collection. All right, the next item I wanna talk about is from Lancome, and this is the Tinto Lee Ultra Makeup Stick. So I have mine in the shade 220 Buff, and the reason I need to get rid of this out of my collection is not because I don't like the product, it's because it's the wrong shade. This is absolutely the wrong shade for me. I don't know why I keep it in my collection, honestly. Sometimes I find myself doing that and I don't know why. I keep items that are the wrong shade for me and I'm like, well, I can mix it with something. But then I never do because it is a chore to sit there and mix something when you're trying to get ready, like you just wanna get ready fast. So I'm gonna reach for a different foundation over this one. So I find myself never reaching for this. I keep keeping it though, thinking that I'm going to use it. I'm gonna mix it with something else, but it's just time to part ways with it. I need to gift it to someone else who will actually get use out of it. The next thing I wanna talk about is this palette from Lime Crime. I think this palette is absolutely adorable. This is one of their pocket candy palettes and this one is in Bubblegum. And here's what it looks like on the inside. I think that the packaging on this is super cute. I think the colors inside of this palette are beautiful and adorable. But to be honest with you guys, I never reached for it. I think it's such a cute palette. Like I said, the packaging is so cute. But I think it's just like the color layout. Like it's kind of a weird, you know, layout. It has the blue, the purple, and it has like the brown shade. It You can create a look with this, but I feel like it's a very you know, one shade kind of a look, like you're gonna go in there for one shade. It's not like I'm gonna grab this palette and create a whole look with it. I feel like it's a palette that you kind of just grab that one blue shade, the one purple shade, and I don't find myself doing that very often. I typically will work with one eyeshadow palette and create a look with one eyeshadow palette. This has made it through quite a few of my eyeshadow palette declutters, and I'm finally gonna say goodbye to it. 
Okay, so this is one that I wanted for so, so long. I finally got it, and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. And everyone uses this, you know, you see the videos, they're making their own lip colors, and you're like, wow, that's really awesome. And I felt like I needed it. I bought it. I've used it one time. I remember I mixed the white and the blue, and I made like a blue lipstick for a look I was doing. I haven't reached in it again since then. I have a very large lip lipstick collection, lip gloss collection. I don't need to reach into a lip palette to find a lip color. I feel like you have to mix it all together. You have to put it on the brush and it's just kind of like a pain and I feel like when I go just for a lip color, you know, I just grab a lip color and I'm out the door or I grab a lip color and that's that. I don't feel like I want to sit here and mix everything. Although I think obviously this is a great idea for someone that freelances or someone that does create, you know, those looks and you want like a one specific shade that you don't have and you find that mixing them together works or there's one shade in here that you love. It is a really cool concept. I love the idea of it, but once I got it, I never use it. So I have another palette. This one is from Dose of Colors and this was the Desi and Katie collab. And here's what it looks like. I believe it's called The Girls. And I wanted this eyeshadow palette so bad. I remember I purchased it on the day. I obviously wanted to support them, but I also thought that this was such a cute quad. I know that for a few of the shades, you have to use them like wet and there's like a whole, you know, way of using this palette. And it is a cool palette, but again, it's one of those palettes where you reach for one shade for your look. It's not something that you're going to get a whole look out of. Like obviously they're just shimmer shades and the two here that you have to like kind of wet them. It's a kind of, a, not a challenge. I don't want to say it's like it's like a lot of work to use them, but you kind of have to think about it. Like, oh, I need to wet this first. I need to mix it with water to like get it to be what it needs to be. It's just kind of more work that I want to put in on a daily basis. Obviously this is a palette that you can go into and just grab that one look if you want, but I just find myself never reaching for this and I've kept it in my collection just to have it which is a stupid reason to keep makeup obviously someone else can get use out of this and I should go ahead and get rid of it all right and speaking of things I've kept in my collection to have in my collection I have the master palette by Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills so this was a hot commodity at one time this was a palette that everyone was using here is what it looks like. This is a limited edition palette, so this is no longer available. And I know so many people that wanted this palette and couldn't get it or haven't been able to get it because obviously they're never bringing this back. It's out of stock, one time deal kind of palette. And I've kept it in my collection for that reason to just like have it in my collection. But to be honest with you guys, I never reached for it. It's not that the quality isn't good, the quality of the shadows is amazing, but it's just not one of those palettes I find myself really hardly ever reaching for. I did use it when it first came out. I know I used it a lot and I was excited about it and I do really enjoy the shades in it, but it's just not something that I reach for. I have so many other palettes and there's constantly new palettes that are coming out too and it's just not something that I think I need to keep in my collection any longer. I know someone else will love getting a palette that is no longer available, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Next thing I have is a highlighting palette from Huda Beauty. This is one of the 3D highlighting palettes. This one is in Pink Sands, and I was excited when I got this. I remember I purchased it when it very first came out. Here's what it looks like on the inside, and I bought both of them, and I remember I kept this one, and I think I sold my other one that I did order. The, I think of the Golden Sands version, um, but I kept this one in hopes that I would use it. I knew I wasn't using the other one, but I still haven't been using it. Like, I haven't reached for this. I might have used it once or twice. I just don't find myself reaching for face palettes too often anymore, and especially this one. I feel like I haven't reached for it in so long. I need to part ways with it. So I just have two more items that I want to talk about. So the first one is this highlight from Urban Decay. This is the Disco Queen Holographic Powder Highlight, and they did send this to me in PR, and I remember I got it, and I was like, oh, this is so pretty, and I swatched it, and I really haven't used it again since. I think I might have used it like once. And it is a super pretty highlight. It has like a little bit of like shift in it. Here's what it looks like swatched. But realistically, 
when am I gonna use this? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's so super pretty, and if you're into like those kind of fun holographic highlighted looks, then it's definitely something you would want in your collection. But for me personally, it's like too glittery. It's not something that I reach for. So I really shouldn't have just kept this at, at all. I should have just gifted it to one of you guys because I should have known it wasn't something that I was gonna reach for. But I have kept it in my collection for a long time now, and I need to go ahead and pass it along to someone else. And the very last item I want to talk about is the Royal Peach Palette from Kylie Cosmetics. So I have kept this in my collection for a while now. And I think that the colors and the layout of this palette I love. And I love the idea of this palette. I think it's super pretty. But I just don't reach for it. I keep it in my collection. It's made it through so many declutters. And I'm like, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. And I don't. So I finally need to part ways. I was pulling everything for this video and I was like, I need to put this palette in the video, but I didn't want to because I was like, no, you're gonna use it. And then I was like, this is the whole point of the video is products that you don't use need to go. So I needed to go ahead and get rid of this one because I constantly do that. I say, I'm gonna use it next time. I'm gonna use it tomorrow and then I never do. So that is it for the products that I keep in my collection that I'm now throwing out. So let me know what you guys think about this video. It was really fun to do and kind of go through my collection and see what products I never use. There's so many products that I do have and that I love so much and that I constantly do get use out of. But then like I said, there are these products where I love them but I just don't use them. So hopefully uh, this video inspires you to go through your collection and weed out the products that you are keeping just to keep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys will subscribe before you leave. Also give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye friends. <laughs>